Hello everyone, it is Ivory Public Suds, and today we are going to be getting into my LEGO Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett set ideas. Now with our first look at Boba's palace in the books, as well as the finale of The Book of Boba Fett TV show happening, I thought of nothing better to do than give my ideas for a set that LEGO could possibly do based on this show. Now a lot of the designs I use in this video are courtesy of a t Production as well as Brick Yoda 5555. Fantastic designers, I'll leave a link to their channel in the description and while you're down there if you like lego star wars it would mean the world to me if you press that subscribe button as well as the like button we're so close to 30,000, and i'd like to get 500 likes on this video so every press of that button would be appreciated and with that said we're going to get right on in to my book of boba fett set ideas so starting off is a pretty boring one but this would be a micro fighter we have not gotten an official slave one micro fighter we did once i believe get a promo a Slave 1 Micro Fighter, but never a wide release one. And this is obviously the perfect time to do it. First off, it's a cheap way, an effective way to get Boba Fett. This is a figure we're probably going to be seeing a decent amount of since he had his own show dedicated around him. And you know, we saw the same thing with Mandalorian where we have 200 versions of him. So either way, this would be a great cheap way, an effective way for people to get Boba. And plus, we haven't seen a Micro Fighter Slave 1. And if they continue the Micro Fighter theme, which I think they will, then this would be a great set to have out. Now next up is a $79.99 set set. This would be a Tuscan train heist. Now for those who remember back when Solo was coming out, there was that Imperial Convex train. It has basically the front car and a back car, and it came with all these cool figures. So basically, if you guys remember the scene from Book of Boba where the Tuscans and him robbed the Pike train, I think this would be great, that hunting train, and I think it would be a really cool thing to see. Uh, you know, we could possibly see the speeders that the Tuscans were driving on. This particular model was designed by A&T. It really looks cool. I think it's a little large for what LEGO would do. It looks a little too monorailish. Uh, but other than that, it, it looks really good. Uh, so, you know, the figures we would see, first off, Boba without his armor. You get him in that whole roughed up jacket and all that sort of stuff. You'd also get two newly designed black garb Tuscans. So we could use the old Tuscan mold, but I think this would be a great time to introduce some new prints for them. And maybe you could, you know, add some black highlights to the mold for the Tuscan Raider, just as prints. I think that would all be very cool. And then obviously we could get a Pike minifigure. Those are going to be consistent. You'll see those a decent amount throughout here. We got one actually in a solo set. And then the train pilot, who I thought was a really kind of funny looking dude. We'll get him too in this particular set. And, you know, maybe we could get, like, that weird, like, sand creature or something. I don't know. They could throw in, like, a Tuscan tent or just something to capture them for them to fight against. I think, like, a little home base would be pretty cool. And at an $8 price, I feel like this would be pretty reasonable for a train-style set. Now, next up is one of the worst scenes in the Book of Boba, but this is a set I think we need to do. It is the Tatooine Speeder Chase at $50. First off, I don't think anyone would buy this, and I don't really want to see this to be 100% honest, but either way, here we go. Uh, now, you remember that very fast-paced scene where it looked like a overweight granny going about two miles an hour through a Walmart, right? That scene? No, that one. I, I, meant, I meant that one. Either way, the build would be two of the Vespa S60 style, like, speeders. And then we could also, the figures we would get in this would be Drash and Scad. Those are the two main, I guess, you know, mechanic people that have all the weird body parts as well as the major domo the twi'lek guy who escaped in the speeder bike and boba fett and obviously maybe around them you could get like a little fruit stand or just stuff like that uh and you know boba obviously did jetpack in at the very end when he you know lost and crashed into the fruit stand so either way that would be a great little set not really that great but but hey i'd be perfectly good with memeing on it now the next set we have is a big one, and this would be a Master Builder Series Boba's Palace. Now first off, I feel that if LEGO was ever to do a set like this, like the Cantina in that type of style, or like the Cloud City, it's almost guaranteed that it would be based off of Return of the Jedi. There's zero way they do it off of the Book of Boba Fett. Maybe they'd say it's inspired by the Book of Boba Fett, but they wouldn't actually do a solid $350 set solely based on the show. It would. It would be a Return of the Jedi set. You get the old Rancor, you get Jabba, you get his whole entourage. And if you want to hear my full ideas for what that would look like, then you could totally check out my Return of the Jedi set ideas video. I'll leave a card. But this is my concept for if, in some crazy weird universe, that they were deciding to do a full-on Master Builder series style Boba Fett's castle. Here's what it would look like. Now, first off, you know, we'll go over the details. The bottom level would have a simple Rancor pit, nothing too crazy. Maybe you could have a side build next to it, since, you know, the base is going to be presumably larger and you don't need a huge Rancor pit. Uh, but you could put, like, a room for the droid torture chamber, as well as a prison cell 
that you know we saw in episode six return of the jedi you could also have like maybe a small hangar possibly to park a small slave one i think that would be a great mini build like the one we received in the cloud city set and then moving up to the main level you would also get the throne room without a doubt that's a no-brainer and you would get you know room to put boba and you could also possibly throw in like a little table in there so they could have the meetings of the families i think that would be really cool and that would all be more detailed than say the set that we're getting later this year uh, which is very exciting by the way uh, but either way you could do that whole thing maybe next to it you could have a small kitchen with the general grievous droid and we'll talk about that in the figure selection and you could host all your major guests and then you also get a staircase entrance up to the top level. Now this would be Boba Fett's chamber or room. You could have the back to tank in here. You could have a little setup where he could put his armor. I think that would actually be pretty cool and maybe even an overlook so he could overlook all of Tatooine from his room, which was one of the neat you know, little things they added to Jabba's palace in the new episodes of the Book of Boba. And it was really kind of nice. I really, really liked the way they designed the whole palace uh, this time around. Now the minifigures are as follows, there are a lot of them because these sets tend to take a lot of minifigures. Now first off it would be Boba Fett, then you'd also get Fennec Shand, his sidekick, Kersantin, obviously a great character to have in here, he did attack Boba in here so you know that could be like his main feature. The two Gamorrean guards, as well as the droid that tortured Gonk in Return of the Jedi and now is like his like you know speaker, like his major Domo type dude, uh, so I don't know exactly what to call him, he would be cool though. Scat and Drash, whatever their names are, they, they would, you know, be an inclusion, I guess. Mando, obviously. Danny Trejo's Rancor Trainer. I loved seeing Danny Trejo in this episode, and he was a Rancor Trainer, so we'd include him. Two Pikes, a back to tank Boba Fett, so it would be just him in his diaper, I guess. That would be pretty darn funny. And then maybe you could get some of the members of the Tatooine family. I mean, I'm not going to get too specific here. The bunny droid would be fantastic. I'd love to see a mold of the bunny droid. The kitchen droid that looked like General Grievous, I love that too. And I'm probably leaving someone out that I'm forgetting, so I guess you could tell me in the comments below. And then, of course, the Rancor. Now next up we're jumping into the two episodes you could barely call Book of Boba. So we're going to refer to these as like the Mandalorian half arc. Now we're going to start off right away with the Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter. We're not doing anything with the armorer. We did get the armorer's Mandalorian Forge which I feel like does a justice for that particular scene in the show. Now this is basically going to be his Starfighter. There's actually a rumor that this is already coming out in 2022. It would be a great set. You put Mando in it. You could maybe have like a little background of Pelly's shop. They don't have to do that, but that would be pretty cool. Like you get some extra add-ons to make it feel more like your shop. Uh, and you could also, in this set, the figures I would have would be the Mandalorian. You could have Grogu. You'd have obviously Pelly. That would be great to finally get her in Lego. As well as the Pit Droid. Maybe we get one or two of those. And maybe even the BD-1 Droid. And by the way, I'll throw this out here too. Uh, we could see R5 return for this particular set. I think it would be kind of cool. And on top of him returning, you could also, you know, double him as a figure that fits in the Astromech Droid spot. But obviously that would be solely made for Grogu and that would be absolutely adorable. Speaking of Grogu, next set would be a pure Baby Yoda marketing ploy. This would be Grogu's Jedi Training Set. $40. This would be just a, a fun set. And we could possibly see this with the next season of Mando, but since, you know, the decision Grogu made at the end of the episode, we learned that it might not be as possible. But either way, I'd like to see Grogu's training. Now, this would basically be like a combination of like the features you get for the training from Yoda's hut and then you could also get say like Luke's hut which is basically what the design looks like uh you know from the last Jedi and those new temples and everything that would be really cool so the figures I would include with this would be Luke Skywalker obviously you could include the one we got in the Dark Trooper attack set Grogu as well as Ahsoka we could finally get Ahsoka in her I guess Mandalorian appearance so that would be finally awesome to see and then maybe we could throw in a frog that's not really a minifigure just a character I'd like to see like the ones that he eats that would be adorable either way next up is a set I just want to see I don't know how they do it maybe they could do a little Jedi temple room and I think this would be a really good 18 plus set and this would be Grogu's Order 66 scene. Now, I like to think that LEGO would do like this full Order 66 line of just really sad sets, and they make them all like 18 plus. That would be great, little vignette style things. Uh, but either way, here it is. This would be Grogu's Order 66. You have Grogu in it. You would have two of the Jedi defending him. I think putting all three is a little bit much. And then you could have two or three clone troopers, one of them being Commander Apo, as we do know that one of those clone troopers was Commander Apo, which is pretty awesome. 
And by the way, someone pointed this out. That was the first time in 17 years that we have seen clone troopers in live action. The last time we saw them in live action was Revenge of the Sith back in 2005, which is insane because I still haven't actually seen them like that, like for the first time, like everyone else has. So that was really cool to see, to be 100% honest. And they completely nailed the way they looked back from Return of the Jedi. It looks like they even went back and did CGI. I meant Revenge of the Sith. I did an oopsie there. Next up, we have a set, and this one just, I love the way it sounds, the Freetown Showdown. This would be a $30 set, a simple set, coming with Cobb Vanth, as well as Cad Bane and the Nikto Bartender. And you know, if you want to throw in a fourth character, you'd have the Villager Lady. But this would basically just feature the scene where Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane had their showdown. That, I absolutely love that scene. It felt straight out of an old spaghetti western. So that was super fun and super, like, you know, just really cool and visually appealing, in my opinion. And I think it would be a great, easy, and cheap way to get Cad Bane as well as Cobb Vanth. Just two really cool characters I'd like to see more in LEGO. And then finally, this set is based off of the finale of the show, and it's really just encapsulating the whole, you know, theme of what went on in that episode. But this would be the battle for most Espa, a $100 set. And this battle is, again, based on the final episode. It would have a lot of structures and facades, you know, looking like Tatooine buildings and that sort of stuff. It would be much like the, say, Battle of Taco Danaset, or you could even reference the 2014 Most Icely Cantina. And it would come with also that Freetown speeder. We got one that's like it in the cantina, but it would be obviously, I guess, a darker shade of gray and maybe have some more room for people to stand in. But other than that, you could also see like the Rancor in this set fighting those Scorpionic Annihilator droids, those, as I like to call them, big boy droidkas. Now this would be a great set, just a fun, super intense battle. You could I easily see this for $100, include a Rancor mold. This one that a and made is really cool. Uh, now the minifigures coming in it, obviously Boba Fett, Kersantin would be fantastic, a cheaper way to get him than in a UCS one. Cad Bane, two Pikes, they were the main bad guys, so Pikes would make sense. The Mandalorian, and you could possibly throw in Grogu here, I don't think it's necessary. As well as a speeder biker, you don't need to necessarily get the name ones, uh, but you can get a random one just to throw it in. As well as a random villager, just to throw them in the mix, have them all battle, I think it would be absolutely epic. Now, again, I want to give a huge thank you to ANT as well as Brick Yoda 555. They designed some awesome models and I'm really appreciative of them and I want to hear your Book of Boba Fett set ideas. What do you want to see most from the show? Did you like my ideas? Did I summarize pretty much everything? I want to know. Also while you're down there, hit that blue button. It would mean the world to me. We're so close to 30,000 subs so that subscribe button being pressed would be awesome too. So remember to check out these videos on my first Book of Boba Fett set predictions uh, and this was when the trailer came out or you could check out this video to see my latest upload. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.